afraid that sometimes we think that evil is a list of things that are fun that we're not allowed to do. That's not what evil is. That's what Satan was trying to convince Eve of. Boy, th this tree, it looks really good, but you're not allowed to have any of it. Man, that looks like a lot of fun, but you're not allowed to participate. That's not what evil is. Evil is not a list of things that are fun that we're not allowed to do. Evil is Satan's means of ruining good things, ruining beautiful things. Y you know, there are some people who just can't stand for anything to look nice. You know that, right? I mean, you, you build a park, a nice, beautiful, well-kept, manicured park, give it a week, and somebody will vandalize it, right? You, you go down here to the Chandler Town Park, and you paint over those picnic tables that are covered with obscenities and lewd images, wait a week, come back, and they'll be covered again. You know how I know? Because I've done it. I've, I've painted the tables. I have not put the obscenities on the table. I've helped paint the tables and come back to find them vandalized again. Man. <laughs> what I was trying to say is that there's some people, they just can't stand for anything to look nice. They'll wreck it, right? They'll vandalize it. And at the end of the day, Satan is like an 11-year-old boy with a can of spray paint. And he comes into the garden, and he ruins it. And he looks to wreck it. He wants to take that thing that is beautiful and mess it up. But Satan isn't just worried about ruining the, the aesthetic of the Garden of Eden. He, 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 is, he is looking to ruin anything that is beautiful. And he, he's doing it today. You, you and I, we go to a beautiful wedding and, and we, everyone says, man, it's just so nice. And the bride and groom look so happy and everything is so beautiful. But Satan says, I'll fix that. I'll wreck that. I'll give them a taste of things, and I'll give them a taste of money, and they'll be so hungry for that that they'll work themselves to death, and they'll work themselves apart. I can wreck that. You and I, we see a young, smart woman, and we say, man, she's got incredible potential. There's, there's no end to what she could do. And Satan says, I'll fix that. And he makes her feel empty and insecure, and tempts her to do things that she's later ashamed of. And she no longer has the courage to do those things that she has the potential to do. My in-laws were uh, in town this past week. And there's a, a couple in their church that they're close with. And this couple, ha they have a son who's in his mid-30s to 40s. He has two elementary age sons. And he's got terminal cancer. And last night, we got where he passed away. Satan loves to take something that's beautiful and just wreck it. He loves to take beautiful relationships and mar them. And that's what he does here. He comes in not because he's worried about Eve eating some fruit. He comes in because he wants to mess up this beautiful thing that God has created. That's what evil does. It wrecks beauty. 